The movie takes place on Earth after it has been invaded by deadly, indestructible creatures that have murdered humanity into hiding. As the movie starts, we see an empty town and a family exploring it. A father named Lee Abbott, his wife Evelyn, and their three children, Reagan, Marcus, and Bo. They are in a supermarket where Evelyn is looking for medicine for her son Marcus, who seems to be ill. Reagan joins her younger brother Bo, who is drawing a rocket on the floor. He tells his sister that they will use the rocket to leave Earth. It seems like something is wrong with the planet. What could it be? A few minutes later, we see Bo on a stool trying to reach out for a toy rocket from the shelves. He accidentally drops it, but Reagan catches it before it hits the floor. It seems like they are being careful not to make any sound for some reason. Bo approaches his family with the rocket toy in his hands. His father slowly takes it from his hands and removes the batteries, then places them on the counter and tells Bo that it is very noisy and that could be dangerous. The family heads out of the supermarket, but before Bo leaves, Reagan secretly hands him the rocket, and as they leave, he grabs the batteries and follows his family. On their way home, we see Lee carrying Marcus and leading the way, followed by Evelyn and Reagan, with Bo at the far back. Bo is still playing with the toy rocket, and even manages to put the batteries back in. Suddenly, the toy activates and makes a loud sound. The whole family freezes in their tracks. Lee puts Marcus down and begins running for Bo. At the same time, he notices something else in the woods running towards Bo. An alien creature that kills humans. But it can't see, so it is only attracted to sound. Lee tries to rescue his son, but right before he can reach for him, Bo gets grabbed by the alien. The family is devastated, but they can't even cry for their dead son without risking their own lives. 472 days later, we see the Abbott family at their farmhouse. Marcus and Reagan are fine, but Reagan still blames herself for the death of her younger brother, Bo. Lee has set up surveillance cameras around the place and has been researching on the creatures, trying to find their weaknesses. On one of the notes on his wall, we see that there are three creatures around the area they live in. Evelyn is pregnant, and the family is doing fine, but they seem to be making sure to maintain a silent life. That night, after dinner, we see the family together. Reagan and Marcus are playing Monopoly, and as they play, Reagan accidentally knocks down the lantern next to her, making a loud noise and starting a fire. Lee quickly puts out the fire and then tells the family to be quiet since he senses something moving around the house and thinks a monster has been attracted by the commotion. He looks outside to see what's going on, but only sees two raccoons falling from the roof. Minutes later, we see the raccoons getting attacked by the aliens a short distance from the house. We later see Lee trying to fix a hearing aid for his daughter Reagan, who is deaf. He hopes that he can help her hear someday. Evelyn joins her husband and places an earphone in his ear. The two of them listen to music and dance slowly to it, savoring the short moments of peace they can have. The next morning, the family goes on with its normal activities. Reagan tries to go down the basement where Lee does his research. Before she gets in, her father stops her and he tells her not to go down there. After scolding her, Lee hands Reagan the hearing aid he was fixing, but she refuses to take it, saying that it won't work. But Lee insists that they will keep trying until it works. Then, he hands it to her and leaves. We then see Evelyn with Marcus. Today, Marcus will be going fishing with his father for the first time, and he seems scared to leave the safety of their home. Marcus begs his mother not to let him go with Lee, but Evelyn tells him that he has to go and learn these things so he can take care of her when she is old and gray with no teeth. As Marcus and Lee get ready to leave, Reagan comes up to her father and asks to join them, but Lee denies her. Reagan gets pissed about this and goes back inside. She thinks her father doesn't want to spend time with her because she was responsible for Bo's death. Lee and Marcus go fishing at a river close to a waterfall. They catch fish from traps that Lee had set, but a fish slips from Lee's hands and falls, making a soft sound. Marcus gets scared that the creatures will come for the noise and tries to run away, but Lee grabs his hand and tells him not to. 
Lee then tells Marcus that the soft noise has no problem because it is covered by the loud noise of the waterfall behind them. He then takes Marcus to the back of the waterfall and he screams to show his son that he doesn't need to worry, they won't be heard. As the two are having a moment, Marcus asks his father if he blames Reagan for what happened with Bo. Lee answers that it was no one's fault and that he loves his daughter. Marcus then suggests that Lee should tell Reagan how he feels because she thinks her father hates her. Back at home, Reagan runs away, carrying her backpack. Her mother is taking out the laundry in the house and one of the bags gets stuck on a nail that is on the stairs. As she pulls to free the bag, the nail gets pulled and straightened up into a dangerous position. Reagan is still mourning her brother, so she goes to the spot where Bo died. After she arrives, she opens her bag and takes out the toy rocket. She cuts the wire so that it does not make a sound, then switches it on to show beautiful lights and places it on Bo's grave. Meanwhile, Lee and Marcus run into an old man on their way home. The old man's wife had just died in front of him. He looks hurt, and he wants to cry out loud, so Lee tries to tell the old man not to make a sound, but the man is unable to keep his pain in and just screams out loud. Lee quickly grabs Marcus and runs away while an alien begins running for the old man. Lee covers Marcus's mouth so that he doesn't make a sound. Marcus is terrified, so he covers his own ears as well, so he can't hear the alien attacking the old man. Back in the house, Evelyn's water breaks. She tries to endure the pain and goes down to the basement to put out an alert for Lee, but on her way down, she accidentally steps on the nail that she had pulled earlier and drops a frame, which breaks making a loud noise. Evelyn holds her breath and tries really hard not to scream from the increased pain. She successfully reaches the basement and switches their compound lights to red to signal her husband. Before she can go back upstairs, she sees the alien in the house, so she stays in the basement. The alien enters the basement and traps Evelyn. Its head opens up as it carefully listens for any sound coming from the basement, and it hears a clock ticking. An alarm goes off and distracts the alien, so Evelyn runs upstairs the moment she gets the chance. Outside, Lee approaches the house and sees the red lights on. He knows that the lights mean Evelyn will be giving birth, so he quickly rushes towards the house. Before they get inside, Lee asks his son to make a noise to help his mother. So, Marcus runs and sets off a firework that distracts the alien. Reagan sees the firework from where she is and begins running back home as fast as she can. Luckily, Evelyn is giving birth at the same moment. She hides in a bathtub and tries to be as silent as she can so that the alien cannot find her. But the pain overwhelms her and she screams in the bathtub as she gives birth. The fireworks light up right then and covers her scream. Lee goes into the house with a shotgun. He enters the bathroom and sees a bloody scene, but he finds his wife alive. He carries Evelyn and their newborn son and takes them to an underground, soundproof bunker he had created to hide the baby's cries before the aliens find them. Back outside, Marcus is headed back to the house. On the way, he hears something moving close to him. He panics and runs into the maize plantation away from the sound, but accidentally bumps himself into a truck tire. Evelyn wakes up and sees her husband with the baby. She asks him about the kids. Lee tells her not to worry about them. They know what to do, but she pleads for him to protect them, so he leaves Evelyn and goes to look for his kids. As he leaves, he doesn't notice that there is water leaking into the bunker from a pipe broken by the alien when it was inside. Reagan finally arrives at the home compound. She sees the light coming out of the farm. It's from Marcus's flashlight that fell when he was running. As Reagan takes a look at the light source, the alien closes in on her without her knowing. When it opens up its head to listen carefully, the hearing aid Reagan was given by her father creates a frequency that hurts both Reagan and the creature. The noise hurts the alien so much that it runs away without harming Reagan. Inside the house, Evelyn wakes up and sees the room filled with water. And even worse, the alien is back, and in the room too. She slowly gets into the water to get her baby, 
but so does the alien. She quietly lifts her baby, careful not to alert the creature in any way, because any wrong move will mean the loss of her life and that of her newborn son. She slowly moves behind trickling water with the baby in her arms to hide from the monster. Outside, Reagan finds Marcus and they climb up the tall silo where they store maize and wait for their father. Reagan gives up on waiting, thinking that Lee will not come for them, so she tries to leave. Marcus tries to stop her, but the tank collapses and he falls inside. Reagan goes in to help her brother, but the commotion makes a loud noise that ends up catching the monster's attention. The alien leaves Evelyn and runs toward the noise outside. So Evelyn leaves the room and goes into the basement where she can see what's going on through the cameras. Lee, who is also looking for his kids, follows the noise too. Inside the tank, Marcus and Reagan go quiet when they notice something is coming for them. The alien suddenly jumps into the tank. Reagan and Marcus use the piece of the tank that broke to try and protect themselves, but the situation looks bad for them. Luckily, Reagan's hearing aid begins screeching and hurting the alien, so it runs away. Lee catches up with his children when they get out of the tank. On their way back to the house, they hear the alien coming after them again, so Lee tells the kids to go and hide in an old car nearby. Lee grabs a spear and waits for the alien, but it knocks him out before he can act. Marcus screams when he sees this, and the alien shifts its focus to the car. As the monster gets closer to the car, Reagan's hearing aid begins acting up again, so she switches it off because it hurts her too. With the hearing aid no longer hurting it, the monster jumps onto the car and starts attacking it as it tries to reach the kids. Lee finally stands up. He knows that the only way to get the monster's attention away from his kids is to make a sound loud enough to distract it, but that would mean losing his life. He tells Reagan that he loves her through sign language, and she understands what is about to happen. After saying goodbye, Lee lets out a painful scream to draw the alien's attention towards him, sacrificing himself so his kids can be safe. The moment the monster jumps towards Lee, Marcus takes off the car's handbrake and it rolls towards the house. The kids are reunited with Evelyn, who saw everything through the security cameras. They make their way into the basement, but the creature that follows them attacks them. Evelyn grabs Lee's shotgun and stands with Reagan, and Marcus tightly holds the newborn baby on the other side of the room. Everyone stays silent, so the creature opens up its head to listen for the smallest sounds. As it slowly listens for any noise in the room, Reagan realizes the weakness of these creatures after looking at her father's research notes on the wall. It's the high-pitched frequency that her hearing aids make. The newly born baby begins to cry, and the creature tries to attack. Reagan quickly takes off her earpiece and places it onto a microphone in the room to amplify the frequency. The monster gets weakened by the sound until it falls. But just when they think it's dead, it rises and tries to attack Evelyn. Evelyn turns around and shoots the monster's head, which was still exposed from the frequency attack. The shotgun noise alerts the other two creatures in the area, and they begin making their way towards the house. The family sees them through the camera, but they are not afraid, because now they know how to fight back. Did you know that you can leave a comment on this video and it won't make a sound? Try it, let me know what your favorite part of the movie was. And be sure to quietly hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our next heart-pounding recap.